Welcome back to Tain Slide Info. Two South Korean Air Force planes collided in mid-air during training and crashed near their base on Friday, which is April 1, 2022. And this has caused killing all four people aboard the aircraft. As per few sources, three pilots were killed while search was underway for the fourth pilot when two South Korean trainer planes collided mid-air. Two people, a trainer pilot and an instructor were aboard each of the two KT-1 aircraft and it is said that all four of them ejected from the planes but were later found dead. The Air Force confirmed that the crashes didn't cause any civilian casualties on the ground. As per the different sources, more than 30 firefighters and emergency responders were dispatched to the crash site, including three helicopters and 20 vehicles along with military personnel were also sent. As of now, we are not sure about the exact reason behind the collision, but the investigation is underway to check the exact situation of damage and to investigate the cause behind this particular crash. The trainer planes which collided mid-air are KT-1 trainer aircraft, which are manufactured by Korea Aerospace Industries, and these trainer aircrafts are the first completely indigenous Korean aircraft ever developed. To be more precise, the Korea Aerospace Industries KT-1 Woongbi is a single-engine turboprop basic training aircraft which is jointly developed by Korean Aerospace Industries and the Agency for Defense Development. So that was a small and a quick video about the news of two South Korea Air Force planes colliding mid-air and I'll be uploading more videos about more updates on the same. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainsled Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.